Hello everybody, I'm Javels Wavels. I'm here playing Monster Prom with my special guest host. Zephoria plays. We just finished our recording on her channel, linked in the description. We have a full Monster Prom playthrough there. It's pretty fun times. It was a great what, time. One of us found love. Yes, but who? We'll see. Find out later. Go, you gotta watch the videos. Mm -hmm. No spoilers here. Uh, as for this, we're going to jump right into it. We're going to be playing different characters, going for different love interests, so it's all going to be a, a different experience, different events and all that. For you, the viewer at home, I'm going to chop gonna this... It's going to be way fun. Yeah, we're going to chop this up into, into parts, about 15 minutes a piece is the goal. So, let's get started right now. Play. We're going two players. Yep. Not four. The, the ghost in the room doesn't get to play. <laughs> we'll do a full, uh, a full game. Yeah. Spooky high school. The sweetest years of our lives. Were they? Back then, we were young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless. Now we're old and grumpy. <laughs> sometimes brilliant. Sometimes just stupid. But always willing to live life to the fullest. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. Who were you? Alright, so these You're are You're gonna be options. pro ZD I Zom was, Zom? I was this one last time. I'm gonna be... You know what? I wanted to be Frankie. Are you going to betray me here? No, I won't betray you yet. Um, I'm going to be a zombie. Green. Named. Jables. Don't worry, that's my name in the other one, but that's okay. Put, where's the, no! Jables R. Jables R. What? Yeah, I've, I've noticed like if you use the keyboard, it'll make the, it'll make <laughs> the mouse disappear. Just press the... the just, it keeps just going move there. the mouse I'm, over I've, to I've the done X. I've done it. Look. There you go. Thank you. I, I could have. This was resolved quickly. <laughs> uh, I'll be a, a he this time. I was I was a she last time. Okay. Who do you want to be? I'll be the Frankie. You want to be? I was that last I, time. Frankie. Vicky? No. That's the name? Yes. All caps Zeph? <laughs> no, it'll be the same spelling that you time. just did. It. No. All right, is that what you want? <laughs> no, that's what we had it on my channel. What's up? What are we doing? <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> well, I use the same name. I just, I just did lowercase. Yeah. There you go. We're, I'm, I'm gonna follow the theme. It's perfect. You did it. <laughs> and then we'll stick with she. Okay. Sweet. Sweet. And we had yet to experience its ultimate challenge. Just sassing you on your own channel. <laughs> the monster part. That's what you do. Oh uh, yeah, that is. It's kind of your thing. There's a little bit. There's a little bit of sass in the other one. Yeah. I remember it clearly. Three weeks were left. Three weeks. Mm -hmm. Three whole weeks. <laughs> As she was surprised by last time. <laughs> and we fantasized about our dream prom dates. We were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our six most charismatic classmates. Ah! Miranda Vanderbilt, 19. A sweet mermaid princess who, who was as cute as she was genocidal. Mm -hmm. Damien LeVay, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. <laughs> Scott Howell, a werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly large heart. <laughs> Liam Lioncore, 400-ish. A hipster Somewhere. vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid that he was truly a lovable dork. Yay. Polly Geist, 22. A party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. And Vera Oberlin. A mean, self-made gorgon with a merciless sense of business. In our uh, playthrough, we... Well, no spoilers. Yeah, we'll spoil <laughs> anything, but... Uh, do you want to see who we went after? Or? No? Uh, we'll leave it there? Well, we'll, you know, we'll leave it up to episode. you guys to see. Watch the episode. We will be picking different people this time, but... Yeah. It was clear. It had to be one of them. But whom? We had only three weeks to choose our prom date, and even more daunting... We only had three weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. Which is not too long. <laughs> but as I already said, we were young and unafraid. And we were ready to start. Young, dumb, and full of fun. <laughs> it's fun, yes. Welcome to Monster Prime's stupidest pop quiz ever. All minds are rotten, but they are rotten in so many different ways. Worry no more. We're not using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose what kind of deviant sickle you are. Mm -hmm. Monster Prime's... Stupidest pop quiz ever, trademark. TM. We'll throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character stats. This way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. Well, let's start. Oh, is it the same oh, questions each time? I, I feel like it usually mixes it up. Okay, well, this was the same first question we got. Yeah. For the first one. A radioactive <laughs> possum bit you. What superpower did you get? The incredible power of writing fan fiction so compelling that the actual creators of the TV show decide to go with my ideas and crazy ships. 
The superpower of always choosing the right combination of emojis to get the desired reaction from all people. Or probably rabies. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, the emoji superpower this time. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah, so. I'll probably go for the same fan fiction one. Fan fiction? Just keep it so creative. same. Mine was charming. Mm -hmm. The democracy oh, yeah. is just is broken. The this is the same question. I don't know if that's the case or if it just literally. I think it's it supposed random. to randomize, but I democracy guess we got unlucky. Democracy is just broken. What would be the best way of choosing the leaders of modern society? Put all the candidates in an empty room with a wild grizzly bear. Whoever kills the bear is the president. If everyone dies, then the bear should be the president. Whoever can play the most heartbreaking violin solo, or a reality show called America's Next Top President. Absolutely that one. I'm <laughs> going with the same as my playthrough. I'm having the bear be this president. The bear, president bear. Okay. I was fun and you were bold. Mm-hmm. The world will end tomorrow. What do oh, you do today? Oh, that one's different. Uh, are you sure? Yeah. What was the? Oh, I guess so. Oh yeah. It is. Let's see. I'll always tell you the world is ending. I'll profit on other people's hysteria. I'll always party as if there were no tomorrow, so who cares? It's okay, we have vented the apocalypse to take care of the overpopulation of commoners. I'll finish my novel. Whoever comes after the end should know my legacy. Nobody ends the world but me. I'll end it today. A hundred push-ups. No, two hundred push-ups. <laughs> uh, I always party like there were no tomorrow. Yeah, that sounds fitting. And I don't know who I'm going for, so let's go with uh, nobody ends the world but me. Okay. You got Damien, and I got Polly. Yep. That's about right. Okay. <laughs> Damien Lefay. It's about what we discussed. That is about, yeah, kind of <laughs> where we landed there, so that's good. Um, sure. Um, sure. All right. Uh, well, I know I'll need fun for her. Mm-hmm. Lots and lots of fun. Lots of fun. So fun is this one. Let's go have fun. Ah. Uh, jamming, all right. Mm-hmm. Like, you like almost mid-dab, you haven't moved your head quite yeah, yet? not quite there yet. <laughs> a half hour later, it goes full crazy. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point, there are like 300 people. Someone summons a demon from a nightmare dimension. But who cares? The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself. But it's a rad party. Mm -hmm. You're getting too fun. Oh yeah, I should be narrating for you, shouldn't I? Yeah, let's switch that, yeah, yeah, you're right. That night, you hit the clubs with Vera and Polly. Mm. Thanks Satan for fake IDs. <laughs> Past lives, huh? Put those wallets away, you two. Drinks are on me. <laughs> By which I mean drinks are on that guy. <laughs> no need, Polly. I'm into this crazy new thing called paying for my own drinks. Maybe you've heard of it? Maybe? Is that French for my boobs aren't big enough to get free drinks? Oh, shit. Burn. <sighs> Feminism is dead. <laughs> that sounds like a reason to drink. <laughs> <laughs> they are me. But I like soon. Her. I like her a lot. It, it didn't work. Just give what was that you said? It sounded like Portuguese for my shameless pandering didn't get us any free drinks. Oh. Gah. This is quickly getting out of control. Maybe if we find a way to make that guy pay for your drinks, you can fix this. Do you choose? It's party time. So date the guy when he's in the bathroom and put a pair of sunglasses on it and pretend he's your pal. Or it's crime time. Steal the guy's wallet and learn his address, then go for his house, kidnap his daughter, and demand drinks from him as a ransom. Well, I think I know what Vera would like. Yeah, but you're not going for Vera this time. Right. Well, so I just, I just, I just abort. Yep. Let's right. Go. Uh, yeah, it's party time. Let's sedate the guy and put a pair of sunglasses on him. Let's begin to burn his. Right. Fun. So no one, fun. No one is curious why you just happen to have sedatives on you at all times. Don't worry about it. The plan goes off without a hitch. You spend the whole week with your new friend, sedated Sam. <laughs> So Dan and Sam is the coolest dude in the universe. He's such a good listener. That has been I especially amazing. like how how he insists on paying for everything with his credit card. What a gentleman. I might get her an accident. Right. It's the best week of your lives, but sadly it has to end. The three of you bid sedated Sam a tearful <laughs> goodbye. Bye. Goodbye, Sam! I'll always remember the times we spent together, even if you won't. I really like your shorts, Polly. <laughs> it seems sedated Sam truly slept his way to the top of our hearts. <laughs> you all promise to do this again next year. Sam might not remember much of this when he wakes up, but you're sure he'll 
he'll love the matching tattoo you all got. <laughs> you gain two boldness and one fun. We already have ten fun, huh? All right, Zeth. Okay. It's your turn. Um, I guess. And I'll we'll uh, see. operate for you. You're going for LeVay, right? Uh, LeVay? Damien oh, Lever. I guess that was his last name. Uh, hmm. Let's see, well, so you're taking over might, the fun. Yeah, you might like boldness. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, probably. So, bathroom time. That day you just skip class and hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. You're getting, a, you're getting high off yep. of, of an electric shock. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn by skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. You give zero shits, but you gain two boldness. <laughs> As one does in this student. <laughs> yeah. You notice Scott and Damien waving their phones in front of each other's faces and decide to take a look. Am I in the boys' bathroom? <laughs> it's a communal bathroom. <laughs> okay. Uh, as you get closer, you realize they're discussing Pokemon's Go, the mobile game based on the hit television show, Pocket Humans. Awesome, Fucking bro. metal! <laughs> you bet your ass I do! And check it out! His fiscal responsibility stat is 11! He's a fucking beast at doing Whoa, his taxes! Whoa, he's so OP! <laughs> I heard he's lactose intolerant, though. <laughs> yeah, I feed him nothing but cheese pizza to fuck with him, he hates it! <laughs> That's not very nice, it's super nice to my lovely Dunbar. Fuck you, you've got Leslie Dunbar, the queen of insurance liability management. <laughs> yeah, I traded two Mindy Babcock and a Jared Fogle just to get her, but it was worth it. That's nothing. You've got a Pokemon so rare, it'll send both of them into shock. You whip out your phone and show them your... Let's see, Winslow Jibs, fiscal responsibility, 14, Ooh. armor class 20, loving owner of a speedboat and several dogs. That's probably for Scott, so <laughs> Scat's arrest. Scat's rent sex murder. Sex murderer. <laughs> <laughs> sex murderer. Is that what you're going yeah. with? Yeah. Okay. It's like, I guess I'm going Boy. for Damien anyway. Now this is what I'm talking about. I didn't even know they made Pokemans like this. What type is this? Criminal type? I mean, it's a sex murderer. What the fuck did nobody tell me this was in the game? Whoa, Damien, calm down. You're shaking your phone and it's upsetting Walter Jacobs. Fuck Walter Jacobs. I'm getting myself a scabs rent-a-car and he's gonna murder all my other Pokemans. Yo, I'd offer to trade you my whole roster for that mean son of a bitch, but all my Pokemans are obviously lame as hell. And hell's pretty lame. Why do you think I'm up here all the time? <laughs> Tell you what, I'll beat up the loser of your choice, free of charge, if you hook me up with that mighty bastard. Scott. Punch Scott. <laughs> Just do it. Why not? You never know when a free beatdown might come in handy. You lose one scabs rent a car, but you gain two creativity and one boldness. Okay. And we'll do this. Play order is decided based on your ability to mimic the noise a giraffe makes. What does a giraffe sound? Go ahead. Like? You go first. I Vote in the comments for who does better. <laughs> let's go random. We're gonna, yeah, let's randomize that one. I don't think either of us have ever heard a giraffe. Right, it's me. Uh, <laughs> leave a comment on who did the better giraffe noise. We're gonna end this episode here and pick up the next one right after this. All right, bye-bye, guys. Stay cool.